I already know your secret code. It's 15432. <laughs> and if you talk to a guy, and it's important for your, for some for a side quest, they will automatically be noted in your notebook. That's why it's notebook. So look at this. Every one of these pictures stands for uh, one very important person that you have to help. This one on the right mm -hmm. is a happy sticker. Because we did everything that we could for the bombers because we helped them with secret code, bomber notebook, that's all. These bars show you which time you have to help them. Our special event is in their schedule. So I'll give you an example of what the notebook is like. And it crashed. Okay, I fixed it again. Let's keep going. Okay, I wanted to, where do I want to go? Oh yes, I wanted to go in an example of how the notebook works. And how you, you have to use it to help the people. Let's talk to, let's say... Oh great. Not opened yet. Who do we have to help? We have to help this guy. No we don't. We said no we don't. know that we have to help the guy in the bomb shop. Whoops, no! I don't press that button. Good that we can skip the transformation. Oh, and bomb, stop, uh, bomb shop is 24 hours a day open. Come on, speak. Okay, nothing happened. And we have to talk to wife of the owner but it she's not there I don't care I'll show you another day okay let's see you see this it looks like a rock but it isn't it's a Goron no I don't want to buy a powder keg I don't even have enough money Oh. Moon trip. Um, okay, I don't care. Okay, we can now do some things in town, but... Uh, to get on with the game, we need to leave the town now. The very first town. Remember? Oh, and this scar didn't let us out because he said, You can, you don't have a weapon. Yes, a sword. No, wait a second, it's not a sword, it's a dagger. A dagger! Oh, wait a second, it is a sword. Thank you for letting me pass. This is the outside word Terminal Field. I don't know if you haven't noticed yet, Terminal is, um, the uh, name of the land that we're na now in. Okay, let's see. From here we can go to every level, every world, everywhere we want to go. So we'll do a lot of traveling here. Let's travel. A green choo choo. Oh. Just attack this guy and you'll get what it has inside him. Oh, and yes, if we have Matchy, we can charge the sword up even bigger to even do even more damage and make it go even more uh, uh, bigger radius. Oh, do that guy again. Help it spawn. 
basically what we uh, got to do now is go to the swamp. Oops. I'm always pressing this button. And to the swamp, we have to go this way. Okay, for another cutscene. So the cutscene there so it tells a bit more of the story of uh, the skull kit. Okay, let's see. Don't have any decorats left, but I hope we'll get some. Because they might become handy. Okay, our very first area. Outside of the town and terminal fields. Where things get serious. Enemies behind every corner. Different types of enemies. Multiple enemies at once. Bats. Oh my god, I hate bats. It's Tattle. A bad bat. Oh, so there are good bats as well. If you're a you just should have bubbled at him, but I don't want to transform to a you now. And if you press A while they have locked onto an enemy, you can just jump him up. Jumping attack. Very powerful. Very awesome. Hmm. Still not popping away. Fine bushes. Oh, wait, thank you. The background sound gets, um, the volume gets down, and you can hear another music than the, the enemy music, and you know that some enemy is around. Where is that guy? Where are you? Okay, that guy is spawned. 
Okay, 21 rupees. I don't know if that's enough to buy a map. But I hope it is. Because if you want to get the map of some um, some places, regions, and all that, you need to need to buy it. But I'm not sure if yeah, that, that, that rupees are enough. Okay, we're now inside um, a cave. Get out of it, step onto light. I don't know how it's possible to leave uh, in this room. It's just stepping onto the light. 